Okay then gang, in this video I want us to use a combination of the different techniques we've learned over the previous couple of lessons to make this toggle to show and hide the password. So we'll be using a combination of a click event and some attribute binding to do this. Alright, so the way we'll be doing this is by toggling the type of the input field between password and text. Because when the type is password it's going to be hidden because the password types only show those small little black circles but when the type is text then the characters will be shown because a text input always shows the characters right so that means the value of the type attribute on the input field needs to be dynamic and not static which therefore means we need to do some attribute binding right so to do that we can use the x hyphen bind directive on the type attribute to make the value dynamic or we could just use a colon, which is the shorthand version of this. So let's do that instead. And now, as a value, we need to return either text or password as the input type, as a string. But what evaluation can we run to decide between those two values? Well, what I'm going to do is make a property on the data object that we set up called show pass. And the value of that property should be a Boolean, true or false, so that when the value is true, then we show the password and when the value is false, we hide the password. In other words, when it's true, we want the input type to be text so that we can see it. And when it's false, we want the input type to be password so we don't see it. To begin with, we're going to set this to be false so that by default, we don't see the password. All right, so now let's go back to the template and we want to use this property to dynamically return a value for the type attribute. To do this, we'll use a ternary where the condition we evaluate is the value of the show pass property. So then we need a question mark followed by the value we want to return if this condition is true. Well, if show pass is true, it means we want to see the password, right? And therefore the input type should be text. So let's return that as a string. And then after that, we add a colon. And after the colon, we return the value for if the condition is false. And if the show pass value is false, it means we don't want to show the password. So we need the input type to be password. So it's hidden. All right, cool. So now we have attribute binding set up, but now we need a way to toggle the value of the show pass property because currently it's set to false and it never changes. So the password will always be hidden no matter what. And we want a user to be able to change it. So what we're going to do is add a button down here below the label, which a user can click on to toggle that value between true and false. We need to make sure that the button has a type of button as well, just to prevent it from submitting the whole form. All right. So now we also need to add a click event to this button, which we can do by saying at click and setting equal to something. And what do we want to do when a user clicks this, right? Well, we want to take the current value of the show pass property, and we want to set it equal to the opposite of whatever it currently is. If it's true, we want to set it to be false. If it's false, we want to set it to be true. And we can do that by using logical not, which is just an exclamation mark, and then the value itself, show pass. And now this means that every time we click on this button, we're toggling between true and false. Okay, so there's actually one more thing we need to do with this button, and that is just to give it some text. And I want this button to say one of two different things, either show or hide, depending on the value of the show pass property. If it's true, then I want the text to be hide. And if it's false, then I want the text to be show. So let's dynamically output some text inside this button by making a span tag. And then on that span tag, we're going to use the X hyphen text directive. So this is how we dynamically output text in Alpine, right? We've seen this before. So the value of this is going to be a ternary like we did for the attribute, the type attribute, sorry, before, where we check the value of show pass. So let's do that. And we need to also add a question mark after show pass, followed by the string hide, which is going to be returned if the show pass value is true, then a colon, followed by a different string show, which gets returned if the show pass value is false, right? And that's it. Now we've implemented this whole functionality where a user can click on this button to toggle whether they see the password or not. Now, I've already added the styles to this button in the CSS file so that it looks okay in a browser, but if you're not using my CSS, then yours will look different. That's okay. The functionality should still be the same. 
All right then, so let's try this. I'm just gonna type in test and we can't see it by default because by default, the type attribute is set to password. But if we click on show, yeah, now we can see it. Hide, we don't, show, we do. All right then, my friends. So now we have used a combination of a click event, a piece of data, and also attribute binding to bind to the type attribute of an import to implement this show hide password feature.